Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code. Welcome to another episode of our Chrome extension development tutorial series. And in this video, we're going to be creating content menus, context menus. So what context menus are, are they are the menus that you see. For example, when you select an object, you see these menus and you might see some extra ones depending on what extensions you have. So let's go into how to create them. So I already have all the code written out. It's very short. It's very simple. And so I'll be going over it line by line instead of writing it out in video. So let's head into manifest.json and see how we create this. So the first thing we do is we head into permissions and we add context menus into this permissions array. Now what this does is it allows this Chrome extension to create context menus and it forces the downloader of the extension to accept that the extension will have that permission. And now you can head into background.js and whatever you have inside of here is fine, but underneath have chrome.contextmenus.create. This will create a context menu. Now each context menu requires an ID. This ID can be anything. I chose the number one for my ID. And it also requires a title. And as you can see for the title, I have you selected and then this series of characters and then parenthesis S. Now the parenthesis S is special in terms of context menus. It references whatever you selected when the context menu was created. So as you can see here, when I do this, it says you selected security. Highlight over this. You selected built. I can select the entire phrase. And it shows exactly what I selected. So whenever you have your title in your context menu, you can put parenthesis S to display what you selected. And the context menus will not only appear when you select things, they can appear on numerous other contexts. And so the only context that I have here is selection, but you can look at a list of multiple different contexts and choose whichever one best suits your goal. Now, that's really all there is to creating a context menu, but you can have it actually do things on click and on different events. And we'll cover that in the next tutorial. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, leave a like and subscribe. All this code is posted on GitHub. If you don't want to write it out yourself, that's fine. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks.